Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Cairo, Egypt, and actually I'm on a camel. I don't know if you can see the camel. And we're actually riding to the pyramids, great pyramids. And um, I put a, um, a question on Facebook, uh, what would you like for me to cover while at the pyramids? And so one of the things I'd like to cover is actually... Um, you know, people ask me, like, covering, you know, how do you do surrogate tapping, or is it useful, or maybe how to address um, food allergies, or, um, let's see, what else? You know, the miracles of the pyramids. Um, but one of the things that I, I definitely want to address is about um, changes, you know, because... Uh, most people, when they look at their lives, they see that they have problems or they have emotional issues and they don't know how to move beyond that. And yet, when they get close to creating the changes, they get scared and quit or they don't finish up or they feel like they're losing something. You know, and uh, the things in our life from the past, even though we say we don't like it, we don't want it, we don't, we don't want to really repeat it, but it becomes a, a monument inside of ourselves and thinking that's who we really are. You know, just like these pyramids, they've been here for a long time. Um, they're, they're icons, but yet the meanings of them really do change over time. And, and once you start working on yourself and you actually start changing how you represent your past, how you represent the pains that you've suffered, and... Uh, you start changing internally how you represent what has occurred in your life, you know, the hurts, the dramas, the abuses, the neglects, the rejections, whatever it is that you actually had experience, and you start changing the meaning, actually how you internally represent that. That means the pictures, the images, the sounds, uh, what is actually playing in the memory and what you're doing to yourself within the memory. Because, see, there's an understanding that Fast Drift T has, and it's this. Everything inside your memory is actually a creation now. Actually, you are all actors and players inside of the memory. And from these memories, which are internally created, generated by you, because it did happen, it was recorded in the, on your cortex, and now you can go in and change those. And, you know, the biggest questions oftentimes I get with people say, well, who will I be if... I change these memories because that's the biggest fear. Even though it's a horrible experience, even though it's something you wish had never happened, the big question is, who will I be when it's gone? Will it change me? Well, of course it will change you, but you'll still be you. Uh, you'll be a happier you. You'll be uh, doing things differently because out of your, their, your essence. Because, see, your essence of who you are is what you hold within you, against you, and for you. So... Um, when you change this, these pains, these hurts, these memories, you won't lose you. You'll just gain a better part of yourself, which is the wisdom of the experiences you had and the ability to change how you feel and how you act in the world without effort. That means you do naturally feel, create, and experience what you know how to feel, create, and experience without work. But when you start re-imprinting, rewriting the memories in your life, you as a person, your essence changes. It's not like you have to work to change. It's just you naturally change because you change the memories in which you hold. So if you're going to address um, addictions, for example, you think about what your addiction is. You, you put it in front of you. You think about what it is. You think about the emotional dynamics in and around it. And you start tapping and changing your, your, your internal creation of it. You change the feelings of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the fear of it. And if you're addressing um, any issue, really. It's the same basic process. You know, so what, how do you address, you know, surrogate tapping? What is your viewpoint about surrogate tapping? And this is my viewpoint, honestly. Um, I had a lady who came in and she wanted to, well, she actually called me and she's on the brink of divorce and said, you know, you're my last call. You know, I don't know, you know, I, I just need to know what to do with my life. He's an alcoholic. He had problems. I just want somebody to tell me what to do. I guess you want me to tell her to divorce him or not, and I don't do that. I said, won't you do this? So won't you write a list of everything's wrong with him, everything he did wrong, every experience, every memory, every emotion you think of, and have him do the same. Don't share the list between you. So she came to see me, 
And we started working on her list, and we started tapping on everything about him that he did and what he, what she felt about it, every experience, and we started actually changing those. And, of course, at the end of the session, she said, well, I don't know what to do yet. I don't know if I should leave him or what. I said, well, I'm getting ready to work on him, and I'll see you next week. Well, she left, and he never showed up. The following week, she showed up. She goes, oh, my God, he completely changed. And this is what really makes the difference in surrogate tapping. If you think you can feel their feelings, feel it. Tap on you. Imagine what your children feel like. Imagine your husband, what his issues are. Put yourself in his shoes and feel it and change your reaction to it. Change your emotions with it. Change how you represent it. Now, the interesting thing is, as you do that, you're really changing you. And your energy, your emotional attitude, your, your attitude, your beliefs about them, and when you interact with them, it'll be different. It's not that they change, it's that you change and you see and react to them totally different and they follow. And maybe they do change because you tap on yourself. I believe that the reason why they're in their life is because you and them have the same problem. You, you fit perfectly well. And as you start tapping and healing and transforming you, your life changes. So I hope that makes sense for you. I just say, keep tapping on yourself, keep working on everything that bothers you, and your life will completely change. Trust me on that. They will change because you change. This is Robert Smith in Cairo, Egypt, on my way to the pyramids on a camel. I hope you have a good day. Keep on tapping on yourself. Take full ownership of your emotions, your life, and your world. And as you change, your world changes with you. Good day.